welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video today is all about facial mask natural homemade facial mask anti-aging brightening tightening lifting getting rid of dark spots facial mask that is what I'm gonna make for you today I'm using ingredients that are known to do all of these goodness to the skin so if you're interested in this video continue watching the first ingredient is potato and take a look at the potato this is called Irish potato and this is known to help to clear up dark spots and blemishes on the skin it is also known to lighten and brighten the skin potato have a starch in it that will have to tighten the skin if you have large pores potato will have to shrink those pores also if you have acne on your skin acne scars the potato will have to clear that up when used on a regular our second ingredient is another wonderful ingredient for getting rid of spots and blemishes but this also have an extra bonus to it because it helps to moisturize the skin it helps to keep the skin soft and supple and basically just radiant the next ingredient is lemon and lemon is also a brightening agent it is loaded with vitamin C and vitamin C will help to brighten and lighten the skin it will also help to clear the skin of spots and blemishes and it will also help to give the skin a boot of radiant when it comes down to the different types of skin out there you got to know what type of skin you have whether it is oily normal or sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin i would suggest you spot test every single thing before you use it on your face however some of these ingredients are really friendly but you just never know so banana is normally sensitive skin friendly also lemon is set except the lemon you might need to add one to one one, one part lemon one part water so patch test if you have sensitive skin if not guess what you're gonna kick this up a notch and you can use either almond oil coconut oil or olive oil just a little in this remedy okay so make it your own if you have oily skin omit all of these oils and go for some aloe vera gel all right so now we're going to put this wonderful remedy together the first thing i'm going to prepare is the potato you're going to need either a grater or a blender for this i'm going to use both i'm going to grate the potato because i don't like to blend it and i'm going to blend the banana anyway just continue watching and you'll see what i'm going to do to make this wonderful facial mask a large potato and i'm only going to use a half of this so use a medium potato you want to wash and peel the potato using only a half take a look at the potato and i'm going to peel So here is the peeled potato and next I'm going to grate the potato. So like I said, I really do not like blending the potato. I just feel like I don't get the amount that I want from it. It's too soggy. So I choose to grate, but if you want, you can go ahead and blend the potato. And here we have our grated potato and next we're going to get the juice from this potato. So we're going to strain it. So we're just pouring everything in the strainer and then we're just going to press on it like this. You can also choose to use your hands. When you use your hands, I think you get more juice out. Just make sure your hands are clean or you can choose to use a cheesecloth, which is even better and get the juice from your potato. And here is your potato juice. And I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to move on to preparing the banana. So this is a large banana and I'm using just a half of this. However, you can choose to use the entire banana, just double up on the ingredient. So I'm just going to peel the banana pretty easy, just slide it like this. Now after peeling, I'm just going to chop this up for easier blending. Just chop the banana. I'm going to place this in my blender and I'm going to blend. This is our blended banana. We're going to pour it in a bowl. This is really creamy. 
Make sure to get everything out. So our banana is ready and now we're moving on to our lemon. And I'm using just a half of the lemon. Also make sure to wash your lemon. Our lemon, we're gonna use both the lemon juice and a little of the lemon zest. So we're gonna zest the lemon and to zest the lemon you need a grater and you're just gonna just rub the lemon on your grater like I'm showing here. As I said, make sure it is properly washed. You can choose to wash your lemon in vinegar. Drop it in the vinegar and soak it for about 20 minutes and then you take and rinse off with fresh water and your lemon is good and ready. So here we have the lemon zest and now I'm just gonna cut the lemon. So I'm using just a half of the lemon. Now if you have sensitive skin, use less lemon or just omit the lemon. As I said, you can however try the lemon zest only. So now we have everything ready. We have our potato juice. We have our banana puree. We have some lemon and we have some lemon zest. So now I'm gonna put all these together. Now here we have the banana puree and I'm using two tablespoons of the banana puree. That makes one. Two tablespoons. And for our lemon zest, we're using about a half of a teaspoon of lemon zest. Putting that in. As for the lemon, one teaspoon of lemon juice. You can also choose to use less lemon juice or more depending on your skin. Now take a look at our potato juice. Now, when you grate the potato juice, the potato do have starch in the bottom and that is what we're gonna be using. That is what's gonna help to tighten that skin and get rid of the spots and blemishes. So in order to get to the starch, we gotta strain the top part off and I'm just gonna slowly pour it off like this. And what we're going to be left with is potato starch. And you only need about a teaspoon of this, so this is good right here. And let me show you up close what the starch looks like. That's the potato starch right there. See that? So we're going to use one teaspoon of the potato starch. And that's good. So we're adding that to the banana. Now this is where the options comes in. You gotta choose whatever oil you wanna use in this. Use your favorite oil, not a lot. All you need is a half a teaspoon of whatever oil you're gonna be using. And you can also choose to use some aloe vera in it. I'm gonna be using some aloe vera gel in mine. So I'm using a half of a teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. Remember, it's optional, okay? But it's further gonna strengthen this facial mask to clear up the skin of spots and blemishes. If you do not have the aloe vera gel from the store, go ahead and use fresh aloe vera gel in this recipe. Optional. Also for mine, I'm gonna be using a little bit of an olive oil, just a little bit of an olive oil. So I'm using about a half a teaspoon of olive oil. Now for you with oily skin, you can go ahead and try the grapeseed oil in this also. As I said, once you have the base, which is the potato, the banana, the lemon, and the lemon zest, you could play with whatever else you want to use in this, all right? So now we have all the ingredients together. I'm going to blend this together. So we're just going to blend. And this is not gonna turn dark because we're using the lemon in it. If not, then the banana and the potato would have definitely been dark. The lemon also do double duty by helping it to stay clear looking, all right? However, if you make yours and you store it in the refrigerator and it get a little dark, nothing is wrong with it. I suggest, however, to use this up within three to seven days, all right? So now the facial mask is ready and I'm gonna move on to show you how to use this on your skin. So here we have the facial mask and before you use the facial mask, you wanna make sure to give it a stir, just like this, to stir it up. 
and then you're gonna apply it to your skin I'm using a facial brush to apply mine you can choose to use your hand however it's a very soft mask so using a brush is good but just use what you're comfortable using now for this facial mask for demonstration purpose I'm gonna apply to half a side of my face however for you apply it all over the face I just want you to see the instant result that I get from using this facial mask so another thing you need to be aware of is that if you place this in the refrigerator just before you use it you're gonna get an even extra benefit from the potato because when the potato is cold it also have an ingredient called calcium lace that help to further clear the skin up and a much faster space so I'm just gonna let me see take a look at my skin before and I'm applying it to this side and you want to apply this facial mask in upward strokes just apply it in upward strokes as I'm showing here keep going up you don't want to apply things like this on your face downwards no you're lifting at all times so whatever you're applying just go up and if not in circular motion okay so just lift and don't be afraid to use this on the neck and decollete now I'm going close to the under eyes but do not let this get in your eyes since we have the lemon juice in it however if you have dark under eye circles this is gonna do a number it's really gonna help from the potato and the lemon the banana is now gonna moisturize the dry under eye so definitely a must for your under eyes and also your upper eyelid okay so now that I apply this to half a side of my face don't forget the nose next step is to sit with this for about 30 minutes and after 30 minutes I'm gonna come back and show you the result if you cannot wait for the end of the video after 30 minutes you rinse off and pat dry and apply your favorite moisturizer okay so I'm gonna sit with this 30 minutes so just stick around for the result now all right back and I've been sitting with this for about 30 minutes and as you can see the mask is not completely dry however you could not tell by the way it feels on the face my skin is definitely feeling tighter on this side of my face above my forehead right up here I'm feeling a tightness to it and overall my lips right where we catch my lips right here it is definitely feeling tight so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna rinse this off and I'm gonna be back with the result okay guys I'm back and let's take a look let's see if there's any difference even if a little slight difference to the skin and let's zoom in so this is the side that I use the treatment on and this is the side that I didn't for me personally I can clearly see that this side is much brighter much you know radiant more glowing check out my cheekbone right here it's a bit glowing right there and this side is <laughs> definitely duller I'm looking straight in the camera I hope you're seeing from your direction and this is the side I applied to this side is definitely looking much duller it need something on it right to balance it out so straight ahead for you look and this is the instant glow that you get when you use this on the skin So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, don't leave without giving it a thumbs up. Also, leave a comment, share the video, and if this was the first time, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.